Right, hey guys, welcome back. And in this one, we're gonna create our cycle state. So uh, I'm simply going to copy this. So I'm gonna copy everything here. Control C, head to our graph here, and we're gonna add a new state. We're gonna call this movement cycle. This one's gonna be really quick. And the transition from start to cycle will be an automatic base rule. So I'm gonna set the duration to 0.35 set the blending to initialization open up the movement cycle state and i'm going to paste everything in here like so i'm going to connect this up right here uh, leave everything as is except for the animations so i'm going to duplicate the jog anim start and i'm going to call this jog anims cycle drag this in I'm going to delete all of these start oops sorry all of these starting animations here right click split struck bin and I'm going to insert the forward backward left and right you can even this up if you like I'm not going to uh, class defaults and we're going to insert our jog anim cycle animations. So jog, set jog forward, backward, left, and right. And that will be all for the cycle state. So now I'm going to remove this transition, hit compile, save, and let's hit play. So now you can see I can go from movement start into cycle and this will also work with the orientation warping and stride warping if you're wondering what the stride warping is doing then if you open your components select your gate settings head to the jog section and you want to set your movement speed down to let's say uh, 150 so that you can see it in effect if I press if I go forward now you can see he takes shorter steps and adjusts his speed to the animation. The animation adjusts the speed to the... Right, so... Yeah, I'm going to set mine back to 450. And I'm going to hit play. And yeah, everything works fine now. Stride warping works fine. Orientation warping works fine as well. Now... He's be he <laughs> he is stuck in the cycle state. So in the next video, we're gonna set up the stopping animations. Right. So see ya.